It's FWD Champions Day on Sunday, but to warm up that Happy Valley on Wednesday night, we have nine races at the City Circuit. Starting off with a Class 3 as well. Really strong start to, to the programme and a strong finish as well. We've got it all covered here on Racing to Win. Glad to say I'm joined by our former analyst in Paul Lally and race caller Mark McNamara as well. And uh, Mark, what are the highlights do you think for Wednesday night's programme? Yeah, we've got this 2200 metre race to kick us off, Andrew. We're just about any horse can win the race. Capital Star, a beaten favourite last time, returns to the valley on the back of a impressive trial when he had the blinkers on in that more weather this week. And HZ Torbian, we see him for the first time since he blistered up the Happy Valley straight too. Yeah, there was a stack of money for him last day. He still went off at nearly, I think it was eight or nine to one, but uh, was crunched late uh, as far as other favourites are concerned, Paul? Jackpots? What are we looking at? Well, there's no jackpots to speak of. There's uh, two uh, horses having their debuts in Hong Kong. One's raced overseas and one hasn't. So we'll see how those two uh, get on. Uh, under lights there for the first time under race conditions. Uh, quite even races. Uh, Capital Star, as Mark said, uh, he's can see if he can bounce back after his uh, run last time. And uh, that last race took a really good uh, race with about three or four horses that are last start winners. They are indeed, yeah. Very strong finish to the programme, as mentioned before. But before we get into Happy Valley's uh, programme, we need to look back on the action at Sha Tin first in our racing review. All right, Saturday programme for us uh, to recap uh, this week, uh, Mark. And it was the feature race, with it being a mixed programme, was actually on the all-weather. And Kirpany in front as they sprinted for home looked like he was going to hold on. Red Desert had the last laugh, though. He did. It was a couple of the more unfancied runners that uh, were able to run him down in Red Desert in those blue colours and Sunny Boy out wide. He was home everywhere, Kirpany. That's Victoria making ground. Amazing Chocolate Paul had no luck. He was forced to race wide and Will Power wound up pretty late. But uh, in the end, still can't believe Kirpany got beaten. Yeah, it was amazing, wasn't it? Uh, you have been counting your money with about 50 to go there with Kirpany, but uh, it was a really close finish, and the Red Desert managed to get up there on the inside. We know he does like the all-weather, and 1,200 looks perfect for him, doesn't it? It does. Antoine Hamlin enjoying a little purple patch as well, running for John Sires, who just... Creeps another one clear of Casper Founds as far as the title race is concerned, but still a long way to go. And they've both got strong chances on Wednesday night and a potential big weekend coming up uh, as well. As far as the other winners on the programme were concerned, though, Mark, again with a mixed programme, five to five all weather. Who caught your eye? Uh, Carroll Street. He went up six. He was very good. Taking aim, absolutely jogged at Andrew. He went up eight. Unite Spirit breaking through over the 1650. And Shanghai Dragon, Paul wins again and he goes up five to 52. Yeah, funny race that one, Shanghai Dragon, didn't he? He got away with uh, some really cheap sectionals there and uh, he only went up five for, for that one as well. Uh, so We Joy was so impressive as well. He got the perfect run on the inside, but gee, he hosed up in the end. Yeah, nice ride by Derek Long to get home. Uh, so We Joy, but got a big ratings boost as a result. OK, they were the main winners on the program. Let's see if we can find some more with our horses to follow. Right, Paul, as always, you go first. Bit of deja vu because you just looked at this race, but it's a horse you saw in behind that caught your eye. Yeah, so we're going to focus uh, on this Victorium now. Uh, you can see him now. His, he's had five wins this horse, all over 1,200 metres at Sha Tin. He raced over 1,000 last year. He'd been out of form, and he, he did run on nicely enough there. And I thought here just showed that he's back to some of his old-time uh, form here. He's uh, at the same rating now when he did win off his uh, last win. So he's uh, quite a well-rated horse, and I think he's coming back to form now. He is entered for the weekend and he's found a really tough race uh, for the weekend but um, look he's definitely one to follow out of the race I think. Okay we'll keep an eye on him then Mark you're on the all weather as well? Absolutely Andrew game play at times not much has gone right for this guy at his last two starts he got absolutely smashed under the lights on the 31st of March and then he's raced wide here with So We Joy taking inside runs this lovely patient ride from Derek Lung he dropped him out and went up the fence game play at times went three wide the trip when he got smashed two starts ago, he ran home. That's party every day, running second. And he fights on, and he fights on solidly. So I think the Douglas White trained game player times will be winning one when some luck finally goes his way. And he was ridden by Harry Bentley as well there. Uh, Harry's got some good rides on Wednesday night, his second night at the races, first one at the City Circuit, of course. We're going back to Happy Valley for mine. McLucky now, he's not going to be much of a price on his next start on the back of this. This is just his second run. He'd had one at Chartin down the straight. Um, he'd actually debuted in New Zealand at Group 2. That was his first ever start. He ran second. Stephen Marsh trained him then, then transferred to the stable of Chris Lees and uh, won a couple of races at uh, Gosford and at Kensington, uh, on the Kensington track at... Uh, 
at Randwick as well. So I don't think we're too far away for a win with uh, McLucky. Very positively ridden there. And I think a win, hopefully, not too far away for him. All right, they were the horses uh, to follow. Now, as far as the stewards report was uh, concerned, it's all clear. Meeting number 65, we roll straight in there to Happy Valley. We've got nine races. We are on the C course as well, kicking off with a class three over the 2200 metres, one of three class threes on the programme. Golden Spectrum up from the 18 to the 22 is behind Jiang Bai Chi last time out. Arrogant ran third to Charity Fun over the 2000 at Sha Tin last time. Jiang Bai Chi, um, last start uh, winner, but again, that was 1800 metres. Dynamic Eagle up in class. He's won three of his last four. Pakistan friend will add some speed. And Murray's partners, the last of the eight runners, Dennis Yip and Derek Long. A four-time winner, but never further than 1,800 metres. Golden Spectrum mark an arrogant for the two horses that have been up at Chungfa in the last 30 days. And a good to slow tempo being set, Andrew, by Pakistan Friend. He comes up to the 2,200 metres here for the first time in his career. Jing Bai Chi's in good form, follows him. Dynamic Eagle's been leading up in his races, but with Pakistan Friend in the field, now he will run the trip Dynamic Eagle, but he'll be on the outer. Arrogant against the fence from Barrier 1. Golden Spectrum, Murray's partners above end. Vincey doing what Vincey does for he'll drop out to last. Yeah, uh, Golden Spectrum, the first one we're going to have a look at here. And it's a, a nice enough run from him last time over the 1800 metres. He has run over the uh, 2000 uh, at Chartin before that as well, up to the 2200 metres here. And his work's good. He's a very fit horse going in. Zach Purden will take the mount. Uh, Arrogant, just having a look at him here with Wanda Brahm, who's in a later race. Uh, Arrogant was a, a good run from him last time as well by Ocean Park, this one. So uh, that was over 2,000. Again, 2,200 metres looks good. And he has been third over the course and distance. And Chiang Mai Chi, very impressive last time. He's only won a couple of races from his uh, 35 starts, but the horse is in form at the moment. Backed it up with a placing with a win, and uh, his work suggests that he's going the right way. OK, well, we'll have a look at that win in a moment or so with a couple of these horses behind him. Let's start off, though, with Vincey and his trainer, Douglas White. Douglas Vincey. He's been a long time main, but he broke that a few starts ago. How have you managed to get him going in the form that he is at the moment? Look, he's um, he's been a, a work in progress. He, he he tends to work really well in the mornings, and he he, um, he gets the races, and he's been a, a little bit disappointing to say the least. But um, he got a, a really good ride, and things fell into place when he won. And um, since then, he's held his form. He, he ran a I thought a creditable race last time, and I think the quick backup is is um, is when he won. So I've, I've gone for that option again. The race happened to present itself, so he's going for a quick backup, and um, let's hope that that does the trick. What about switching to Happy Valley and stepping up to 2200? Oh, the distance is definitely not a worry. He's, he's, uh, he's run second over that course and distance before, and um, I think the longer the better for him. He just gets warmed up as, as the winning, winning post comes, to the, comes uh, in sight. And the cheek piece is going on as well? Yeah, that, they are. Um, he's... Look, anything that'll that'll get him a little bit interested, he's he kind of um, loses the race probably the first 600 metres. Um, so anything to, to to keep him in contention and, and get him focused. And you'll be legging on board Harry Bentley. That'll be his first time riding at Happy Valley. What sort of advice will you be giving him on the track? Oh, look, I'm I'm pretty sure Harry Harry will walk the track, and um, I'll give him as much insight as I can into how to ride the track. But uh, he's been around. He's a good enough jockey to to know what he's doing. So I'll leave it up to him. There you go. That's Vincey, Douglas White, Harry Bentley. Jump from barrier number two as well. So we'll keep moving and have a look at uh, Ziang Bai Chi. Um, this was the last start when Mark, and based on this, you'd have to give him some sort of chance again, wouldn't you? But Golden Spectrum, Murray's partners, uh, better off at the weights now. They are, and that's the reason I heard on the side of caution with Cheng Bai Chi. It was very good, fast pace, went around and looked the winner, and in the end, he's run past him and had everything go his way. Don't mind Golden Spectrum either, Paul, back to the 2200 metres. It was so hard to leave four out in this race. It's such an even field. Yeah, look, I've got him right on top here. I think he's just going the right way, this horse. And there was a fastly run race. He looks a real star. So 2,200 metres looks well for him. Golden Spectrum, seven pounds better off for two and three quarter lengths uh, there. This is Dynamic Eagle Paul, who's been in dynamic form. He has, isn't he? He's won his last couple words uh, in class four. He's really found a new, new lease of life this season as a seven year old. He's won three uh, this season. Prior to this, he'd only won one in his career in Hong Kong. So, look, he's just going really well, this horse. He's another one hard to leave out. He's a 25 start maiden in class three. However, only one of those races have been over 2,200 metres in this grade. He ran third, so he's the on top selection. 
Alexi Badelli's regular rider, but he's on the sidelines this week. So Matthew Chadwick uh, takes over. Arrogant, the favourite at this early stage. Paul. Yeah, I've got him in because he is running pretty well at the moment and uh, he's, he's getting there arrogant. But I'm going to stick with Chiang Bai Chi. I thought it was a, a strong win from him and I, I can see him uh, running really well in this. Uh, arrogant, obviously, uh, going nice enough and has come up the short price favourite. But I think you'll get unders there with Joe Marrera aboard. A dynamic eagle in there for third. He's going so well at the moment in Golden Spectrum. Uh, to run a placing there. So four, three, six and one. With the Eagle, Dynamic Eagle, he's had four starts at 2,200 metres for two wins and two thirds. He's back up into class three, but this is his distance. Golden Spectrum, he ran third with 133 pounds at his only 2,200 metre start. Arrogant from the inside draw, off that third behind Charity Fund three starts ago and then ran third behind Charity Fund again last time. And number two, Vinci Cheek Pieces go on, he'll get back. There's not a whole lot of traffic to get past. Six, one, three and two. Three and one, my cue uh, there. Arrogant and Golden Spectrum on top for me in at the first.